Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you can't measure something, there is no point installing it and claiming that it is the best. That is where benchmarking large language models helps a lot. If you have ever spent some time on Hugging Face, you might have noticed that almost every model claims that it has beaten other models on one benchmark or another. They use some sort of evaluation matrices, either they could be generic ones or custom ones. Hugging Face has released Light Eval, which enables you to evaluate these open source models plus closed source models on some set of benchmarks. Not only you can use industry standard benchmarks like MMLU or HEM, you could also create your own benchmarks, put your model on top of it and claim that you are the best. Well, I have seen that happen and we have covered it on the channel sometimes uh, too, whenever such claims are made by a few of the models. Anyway, so in this video, we are going to install this light eval locally and then we will see how it works. You can create your own custom matrices too, by the way. So light eval is not a new tool. It was released last year by Hugging Face and they have released version 0.7 just today, which enables you to evaluate closed models like OpenAI's or Anthropic's Cloud. And then you can compare them with open models like DeepSeek, uh, He, Mistral, and the list goes on and on and on. We all know that if we have implemented a model or a large language model, especially in a production environment, it is crucial to have some sort of robust evaluation pipeline to justify the investment. And I believe in 2025, there will be more visibility and more focus from the companies on these sort of evaluation matrices to make sure that they are not just playing with another toy. But comparing open plus closed model has been really challenging. Now with light eval, it becomes a bit easier. So let's get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. Now the installation of this light eval is fairly simple. All you need to do is to run this pip install light eval and install, install all the uh, prerequisites libraries with it. There are various other features which you can use. Uh, for example, if you want faster speed, you can use VLLM as backend for faster evaluations. You can also use Accelerate backend to launch any model hosted on Hugging Face. We are going to use uh, Accelerate in our demo. Plus, you can save the result on Hugging Face. And for that, you would need the free write token and you would have to log into Hugging Face Hub. Or you could just push it to AWS S3 bucket. You can also integrate it with Python API. And I will also show you a quick demo. And I will also walk you through the code of it. And as I said earlier, you can add custom tasks with it, which is quite simple. I will also show you the code around it. And then there are tons of matrices and tasks which you can readily install. You can install it with Nanotron models. You can even do multi GPU setup. You can use it with text generation. And even you can use it with OpenAI if you are looking to do the comparison. Okay, so you can see that it has uh, installed a lot of stuff as we were talking and hopefully it is at the final leg. And everything is installed. Now, in order to run it with the Accelerate backend, all you need to do is to just run Light Eval, Accelerate and then what model you are using. We are using GPT-2 model for our demo and then um, the truthful QSA benchmark, we are testing it out. And MC is for multiple choice here. Truthful QA uh, and MC benchmark both are evaluation tool to assess the performance of models, particularly those focused on NLP task. Truthful QA is a benchmark designed to evaluate the truthfulness of AI models. 
and it provides accurate and supported information the model i mean and has model got the ability to avoid providing false or misleading information and if the model has indicated uncertainty or lack of knowledge where appropriate instead of making or fabricating something up whereas mc or multiple choice benchmarks are a type of evaluation tool that is used to assess the performance of model on multiple choice question answering task so let me run it it has detected my PyTorch, loaded the model and tokenizer. And then it is generating the task and then doing the validations. And it has com completed the evaluations and it has given you some of the matrices around the task which it has done, some of the values which you can readily check out. And the good thing is that it also uh, stores these results in this file on your local system let me quickly open this files for you should be in my home directory here so there should be a results directory I'll just quickly go down and then with the model name there you go JSON and if I quickly show it to you with the text editor this is how it looks like these are different benchmarks their matrices and the values which you can check you know how it performed on grammar truthfulness and then all that stuff so which is not really the topic of this video now let me quickly show you how it looks like in uh, python api if you just want to embed it in your ai powered application which i believe might be a better use case for these sort of things so let me quickly take you there and i will show you the code in my vs code editor so this is a boilerplate code which you can use to evaluate any model from Hugging Face or any other model. We are importing some of the libraries from LightEval and then we are checking if Accelerate is available. I think it is. And then this is where it is going to store the results. And you can just give, uh, if you want to push it to Hugging Face, you need to give your uh, stuff here. So uh, maybe I will just give it my Hugging Face username here just for the take of completion and then these are the pipeline parameters which you can set if you like but i'll just go with a default one and then this is a model config uh, i'm using hugging face on uh, the fire 7 billion model but you can use any model from hugging face and these are the mmlu and hem uh, tasks which you can use i'm not really uh, worried about that you can use mc or what we used earlier truthful qa depends upon your use case or you can even define your own and then this is a pipeline to get the, the model with the evaluation tracker and then we are running it and you can simply go and run it from your local system something like this where we just run my eval.py and it is going to produce the same sort of results but from the python code so looks like a good tool uh, in my opinion if you are looking to embed some sort of evaluation in your production llm pipeline or you want to just simply do it through cli let me know what do you think if you are already using any evaluation platform and there are plenty of them there are some even paid ones let me know in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching